In this screencast, we'll go over the basic features and functions of Chronotope. This is the screen you'll see when you log in. You have your environments here on the left, uh, defaulting with London, Moscow, and New York. Your projects underneath each of the different environments. The metrics within each project. Uh, you're able to sort and also add additional metrics. So if you wanted to add more of these, you click this button. Uh, to start working with Chronotope, you can click on any of these projects or create a new one. When creating new ones, you can do regular projects, which are good for looking at a, a range of time, or approximated projects, which are good at looking at the hourly distribution of metrics, which can be in two-hour chunks or four-hour chunks, or in this case, we're looking at hourly chunks. Um, Let's take a look at a project that we've already created here. Here we're looking at the hours of operation of businesses in London, um, starting with this three-dimensional view where you have your bottom base map and top base map, and then uh, your z-axis representing time. You can also adjust that presentation here with this time slider, like so, for the bottom of the map and for the top of the map. Um, 2D view is also possible, which is the more traditional view. Um, and also this view can be changed into more of a heat map setting like this. Um, for internet quality, uh, we have it auto-adjusted based on your speed, um, but if you want to have high resolution, you can just move this to high. You can name your project here, and you can add more metrics by clicking here and choosing from the two that we have available. To hide a metric, you can just click the I button and click it back to get it to reveal itself. You can also choose which subsets of a given metric to display. In this case, we're only showing the hours of operation of finance and banking here in this pink color. And this is at midnight. So if we shift the scale back, you can see that at 4 p.m., uh, the majority of these businesses are open. Um, and the whole purpose of this three-dimensional view is to find those insights visually. So moving back into 3D, to rotate the map, always make sure to click on these crosshairs. Um, so I'm just going to drag up to rotate and then use two fingers to zoom back. Or you can also pinch um, and get it to the level that seems appropriate. Look at the entire time span and rotate at a bird's eye view. And now I can see these, these patterns, the, your, your typical kind of nine to five breakdown of your finance and banking businesses and then if you turn that layer off and look at the leisure businesses here you can uh, adjust the histogram as well which uh, if you have it all the way over shows all instances of these uh, leisure businesses uh, the leisure here are defined by uh, the subsets of entertainment leisure and art and culture but in the case of trying to tell a story, it's usually best to filter to the areas where these businesses are most highly concentrated. And what you can see in, in these areas of London, uh, these leisure businesses are running at a 24-7 scale. And the other thing that might be worth noting as we're talking about metrics is you can drag and drop metrics on top of each other to see where they overlap. And you turn off both of these and only show the composite layer here uh, and you can retitle it to something like both business and leisure uh, what you're seeing in blue here is where those overlap all right that's enough for this in the next screencast I'll go over how to pull out um, analytical statistics with the inspector